Here are some tips for somebody that gets overwhelmed really easily with what to eat and how to stay healthy. When we get into these healthy zones where we really want to focus on our good eating habits, um, a lot of us will just dive in deep, get overwhelmed, and then just fall back because it's just so much. We, you know, we think of this healthy eating concept as like dive all in, and then if you mess up once, you're you know you're you're not succeeding. Here are some tips that I have that I found over the years that have helped me to make that sustainable. You need to find one type of healthy meal. I go through one. So one healthy salad that you love so much. Every single time you eat it, it's like your go-to and you just think it's amazing. And it really helps you to just be like, oh, this is so good. I love this. This is so good. And have those ingredients always in your house. And why? Why? Because when we are craving something and we're in a rush, we are more likely to go towards something that we really, really, really like. But salads are super easy to make. And if you have the ingredients already, then you'd be like, you know what? Yeah, I will go for a salad. And the more and more you make that salad, the more when you're sitting there being like, oh, what should I eat? Your mind's going to go towards that salad because it knows that it tastes good and it's good for you. So for example, my favorite salad is um, a caprice salad. So I have a whole bag of spinach. I always have a bag of spinach in my refrigerator. I have balsamic. I always have some soft mozzarella. Or if you're not, if you don't eat um, dairy, then you can just, you know, have the, the vegan mozzarella or the vegan cheese. And then I have uh, a red onion. And that's the salad. Sometimes I'll put tomatoes on it. Most people like tomatoes. Sometimes it just depends. But I have, and I'll have, so I'll have little baby um, cherry tomatoes. And I always have those staples in the house, okay? So it's like, I always enjoy it. So when I just don't know what to make, I'm like, you know what? I got this stuff for the salad. I'm going to make the salad. And I never regret it because it tastes so good. I'm also a big advocate into people like parfaits if you're a yogurt person. Or I like to do smoothies. So I like to have ingredients to do that on the fly really quick in my house. Because I know that it always quenches me and it tastes so good and it's really good for you. So have at least one yogurt container in your refrigerator at all times. And for me it would be I need to have a frozen banana to make a smoothie. And I need to have some ingredients to make a smoothie. So I always have frozen fruit in my fridge. And then again I always rely on a bag of spinach. Um, frozen or in the fridge because I put a handful of spinach in my smoothie. I'll blend my smoothie and then I always have these specific toppings in my house. I have chia seeds, I have hemp seeds, I have coconut flakes that have no sugar on them and then I'll have some type of uh, protein, uh, nut, you know, pecan, walnut, any of those and I'll have cocoa nibs and I have all those always in my cabinet. So if I'm going to have a parfait or I'm going to have a smoothie, I can put those toppings on it and they're going to supply me with extra protein, which is going to keep me fuller longer. It's going to supply me with omegas, which are going to help my cells to grow and be strong. Most people that are looking for weight control, they are missing those omegas. They're very crucial. And I get those through the hemp seeds. Um, iron, which you find in the chia seeds and um, antioxidants what you find in the cocoa nibs. So all those things combined are so good for you. Uh, the coconut flakes have, you know, the omegas in it too, and they're really good for, you know, different proteins. So having those varieties, I always have those staples in my fridge. You can get, um, you know, you can get cranberries with no sugar on them, dried ones. You can get dried apricots. You can get some granola that has no added sugar in them. I like to find like a gluten-free one. And you can have wolfberry or any type of dried fruit and have that in your cabinet and it's not going to go bad. So make sure you have those staples. So that's something that you know you can make well, something that tastes so super good and is super good for you. And you always have those accessible. As you continue to go, you can have other things. Me personally, if I'm really crunchy and cravy, I'll do like salsa and chips and I get the natural chips and that's like my guilty pleasure and I'll have that and I'll do and I have an organic with no sugar added uh, salsa and I'll eat that as my snack but I also love having the chips and salsa because sometimes I want a crunchy salad so I'll put the salsa on the top of my salad for the dressing to save with that 
And so I'll just get, you know, a bunch of um, chopped up lettuce and I'll add an avocado. I always have an avocado in my fridge. And then I'll put the salsa over it and I'll sprinkle on chips, some chips if I want the carbs for the day. And that is another option for, for the salad. So if you have all of those ingredients, you have four options for either snacks or for either um, really a dinner. I also make sure that I always have apples in the house and some type of nut butter. It's a really satisfying, energizing snack. And you can make my favorite dish, which would be, well, I have bananas too. Cut up bananas, cut up apples. I put some nut butter over them, which with the nut butter, you want to have just the nut on there. Say it's almond almonds and then it just will say salt. You don't want anything else in that ingredient because that's going to be the most natural with no sugar. I put some of, drizzle some of that on there and then I'll actually put the chia seeds. I'll put the hemp um, seeds and I'll put the cocoa nibs on there and mix it up and eat it and it's like, I think it's better than ice cream. It's amazing. You can put it in the freezer if you want to get cold for a little bit. It's so satisfying. So that's going to give you energy. It's going to give you all this fuel you need. That's a really good um, pre-workout snack by the way as well. And, um, so if you just have a couple staples from things that you really love always in your house, you are more likely to eat those things than to go and eat the bad stuff. And again, the more and more you habitually eat these foods, the more when you have a craving, you're going to go towards that versus the old cravings that you used to have. Hope this was helpful.